Hi, so you just got your new laptop and the thing sounds like a jet engine. And I have created a video in the past for Windows 10 that helped millions of people uh, fix that problem. So I'm just gonna do the same thing with uh, this Windows 11 video here. So there is a remedy for that. If you open up a folder, and what I'm gonna try to do is show you how to reduce the fan noise. So once you open up the folder, type in control panel with a space there. And it's gonna open this up. You wanna click on categories, large icons, and scroll all the way down to the power settings here. So the power options. And once you're into the power options, you will have a balance plan. You wanna open that up. So what you wanna click next is change advanced power settings. And you're gonna see this dialog box. You wanna scroll all the way down and you'll see processor power management. So what you're really doing here is you'll, you'll see the minimum power, maximum power. So what you're gonna be doing here is you're gonna reduce the maximum power so that the CPU doesn't overheat. And when the CPU doesn't overheat, it's not gonna trigger the fan to, to be that uh, jet engine power uh, you know, fan noise. Um, now what this does is it does reduce the kind of uh, performance, degrade it a little bit, but you might not need that. So if you're playing heavy games or something like that, you, you might actually need it. But uh, overall, everyday usage, you know, you're surfing the web, you're watching YouTube, you're watching videos, you will not be needing the full power. So you're gonna have to play around with this setting. So in order to change this setting, you're gonna have to click on change settings that are currently unavailable. So once I click on that, I'm able to edit it. Otherwise, I might not be able to edit this. So you might wanna start with 60%, 50%, you know, something like that, even 70%. So the fan noise might not shut down right away. What you might have to do is actually shut down your laptop, let the laptop cool, let the fan cool, let the CPU cool, and then turn on your laptop and see if that actually worked. Now, if it didn't work, you, you would have to, once again, play around with this, adjust it a little bit. Now, if you want to switch back and forth and have a different power plan, so you'll notice here my power plan is actually balanced, and I only have one power plan here. I could click Apply, OK. And that might not be powerful enough for your other uses. It, it will be fine for watching videos and uh, doing uh, Word documents and Excel and stuff like that. But if you have to, for example, create a new power plan. So if I go all the way back here and I can create a new power plan and I could say high performance. Now the high performance or even create a custom plan. So you could have different settings where you could switch back and forth depending on your actual usage. But hopefully this will reduce the fan noise <laughs> from being a jet engine to, you know, may, maybe just a, you know, a very steady, basically a steady, a, a steady uh, low hum. So uh, hopefully that's the case. Uh, so that's my tip of the day. And, uh, you know, thank you so much for watching this video. I hope it helps.